Oh, matter of fact, before we go in and watch this video, do me a solid. Hit the subscribe button below and the notification bell. Uh, go to uh, Psalms. Go to Psalms 83. Watch this. This is the controversy in the Bible. What we, what we, what we. Everybody got time for the Lord. You just don't realize it. And some of us are real. Huh? You already got with him. L listen, sir. If you got with, let's let's come on. Let's bring it out. Let's bring it out. Come on. Watch this. Listen carefully, sisters and brother. You listen too. Yes. And the brother Psalms chapter 83 and verse one. Keep not thou silence, O oh God. This is King David. He said, keep not thou silence, O oh God. Don't keep silence. Come on. Hold not thy peace. He said, don't hold your peace. Come on. And be not still, O oh God. For lo, thine enemies, thine enemies, thine enemies, read, make a tumult. Make a tumult. A tumult is an argue, is a is an angry uprising. When we, when we, when, when they put George Floyd to death, and we came together in the streets, and we were angry, and we pushing cars all aside, and we uh, rioting all, that's a tumult. So the Bible is saying that the enemies of God has done that. The enemies of God have made a tumult. But let's find out who those enemies of God are and what their agenda would be. Come on. And they that hate thee have lifted up the head. Uh -huh. Meaning they that hate thee have lifted up the head. Those that hate God. I'm gonna drop this on you early. I was trying to build to it, but I gotta tell you now. Those that hate God are all the nations. All the nations. Anyone that did that to you is the enemy of God. Anyone, anyone that put his hands on the children of God is an enemy of God. Any nation, and guess what sisters? Guess what brothers? All nations have had a hand in our slavery. Right. All nations. Not one nation is innocent of putting their filthy hands on the children of God. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Watch this, come on. They have taken crafty counsel. Uh -huh. They have taken crafty counsel, meaning they sit down and they think carefully and figure out carefully how to keep you in slavery. How to get drugs into your community and the only thing you think of is your brother when you think of evil. Only, th only, only one you think of as far as the guns in your community is your brother when you think of that. But you don't realize because of crafty counsel, all the plots and all the secret counsels and crafty counsels that, they, that the so-called white man had and all the other nations have had to push that stuff in your community. So now we in our communities, we strung out. We hopeless. We have no hope. We kill more of ourselves than the people who brought us here in chains. That's the crafty counsel that King David is prophesying about thousands of years ago. Watch this. Against thy people uh -huh. and consulted against thy hidden ones. Uh -huh. Why, who are the hidden ones? The hidden ones are those who don't understand that they are the children of God. You just think that you are black. You think that you are a nigger. You think you are African American. You are literally the children of God. Not some children of God. You are the children of the Most High God. That's, right. That's who you are. That's who you are. Look at the brother in the car. That's a king of the Most High God. Look at the black man across the parking lot. That's a God walking on earth. And we don't even know it. Mm. We don't even understand it. We don't understand it. We lost in all the ways of our captivity. We lost in all the ways that that happened to us. Watch this. Come on. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation. Hold on now. It says, come. This is the crafty council that the other nations, the nations that put us in chains, this is what they had crafty council about. This is what they came together to agree upon, to figure out. Come, let us take those blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans who are the Israelites and cut them off, meaning destroy them from being a nation. Now when you see your brother, you don't think that is my nation. You think that everybody is the same. You live your whole life from the time you're born to the time you die searching for equality. When God said you are greater than all people on the face of the earth. That's right. 
So you spend your whole life behaving like the crumbs that you're given. Mm. You spend your whole life never understanding you're greater than all the other all the other people, including those who brought you on chains. This was just a punishment of the Most High God for you breaking His commandments. Finish that. That the name of Israel. That the name of Israel, because that's who you are. You're not blacks. You're not Africans. You're not African Americans. You're not niggas. You're not coons. You are the Israelites, according to God. That's who you are. You're the children of the Most High God. Come on may be no more and remembered. Now do you call yourself Israelites? Now when you look at your sister or your brother up down the street, do you think that's a child of God? Do you think, that, yo, that's the Most High God's son? That's a God, that's a goddess, that's a prince, that's a princess. No, you've lost that. You've lost that, that's gone from us now. That's why we kill each other in the streets. That's why we kill each other in the streets. That's why brothers lay with sisters and leave the children. That's, right. That's why. That's why because we have no understanding how great we are. We have no understanding that we are the children of God. Go to Deuteronomy 7 and 6. Go to Deuteronomy 7 and 6. Watch this. Because I'm saying a lot. And a lot of people, we all say, all of us walk around saying I'm a king. I'm a God. I know I come from royalty. We all walk around saying that. But I'm gonna show you that the Bible, the Bible, God says, you are my children and none else. There is nobody but you blacks and Hispanics that belong and are the children of the Most High God. That's what the Bible said. That's what you were not taught your whole life. That's why, that's why you pick up the Bible and put it right down. Because you've been lied to out of it and the truth of who you are was never shown to you in the Bible. So you, it does not connect with you. It don't connect. Watch this, come on. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7 and verse 6. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people. The Bible says the Israelites were chosen to be a special people. Now we just went into here, we just went into the Bible to show that the Israelites would be scattered all over the earth and would go into a, a whole lot of other religions based on where they were sent to, right? We just, I don't know if you walked up before or after that, but we can get back into it, right? The Bible says the Israelites are a special people, a holy people. Now, when you look around, you look in our communities, do we behave holy, sis? Keep it a hundred. Keep it a hundred, sis. Do we behave holy? No, sir. You probably no, man. All the ones this is worse than the ones that's not. Hey, you, know, you said something right there. You said something right there. And you know what it's called? You know what they call it? Christianity. You know how they took put us on ships? With a cross in their right hand. That's how they put us on these slave ships. That's why Christianity has been here since you've been a slave here, sister. And guess what? Look at our communities today. They still destroy. We are worse now than we ever been. Because we don't even know that we have an enemy, let alone that there is an enemy. We are destroyed. And those religions that we learned once we were scattered as slaves, came from our oppressor, came from our enemy. Watch this, come on. Unto himself, the, verse six, for thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God has chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. Now the Bible, when it says special people, that means different from everybody else. That means different from everybody else. Not acting just like everybody else. Not acting worse than everybody else. Special unto the Lord. God has chosen us. Watch this. Above all people. Hold on. So what are we searching for equality for? The Bible said we're supposed to be above all people on the face of the earth. We're supposed to be above all people. Upon We are above all people on the face of the earth. That's what the Bible said. But we have yet to understand what makes us holy, what makes us special, what makes us above. And we're going to get to that. Come on. They are upon the face of the earth. Come on. Verse 7. The Lord did not set his love upon you, uh -huh. nor choose you, uh -huh. because ye were more in number uh -huh. than any people. For ye were the fewest of uh -huh. all people. Uh -huh. But because the Lord loved you, and because he would keep the oath, which he has sworn unto your father. Now, listen, we always think, go back to Deuteronomy 28, give me 47, 40, we're gonna start at 46. We always like to say, and we always like to think, right? 
that this Bible and this religion, this truth is for all people, right? That's the lie that you've learned in slavery. If the Bible or the truth of salvation was for all people, why didn't this happen to all people? Why didn't all people go through that? So what are they to be saved from? What do they need to be delivered from, sister? What is it? But that's what we've been taught, right? Watch this. I'm going to show you something. Now remember, reverse, matter of fact, read verse, 40, read verse 45, then jump to verse 64 again. Watch this. Yes, sir. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 44, 45. Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee and shall pursue thee and overtake thee uh -huh. till thou be destroyed. Now it says all these curses shall come upon the children of Israel, right? The Bible ain't talking to nobody but the Israelites, sis. The Bible, give me Deuteronomy 1 and 1 real quick, because I'm going to prove what I said. You might be hearing some things you like, hold on now, that sound like, that don't sound, Pastor ain't telling me that now. So I'm going to show you something. I'm going to show the brothers and sisters something out this Bible. And hopefully you understand this is your book. And only your book. Nobody else's. Right? Watch this. This is the book of Deuteronomy. Chapter 1 and verse 1. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. Unto all who? All Israel. So the Bible, that's Deuteronomy, that's in the Bible. Moses ain't talking to nobody else. But you know what happens, sis? If me and you having a conversation right here, right? And somebody walking down the street, he happened to hear me and you talking about, you say, hey, uh, 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 young man, I'm going to give you $50 if you go here and do this for me, right? And then that dude, he run off and go do it. Did that $50 pertain to him? He just overheard a conversation. That's all that happened. He overheard a conversation. But our agreement is only between us. That's what we're reading here. That's how we understand the Bible. Everybody else got their hands on our book and now they think that it's theirs. Even we think that our book is theirs now. Even we, watch this. Read, uh, go back to Deuteronomy 28. Watch this, so whoever the curses pertain to, the curses pertain to. Remember the Bible said he didn't choose us, but for any other reason that he made an oath with our fathers. What does that prove? There is no spiritual Israelite. Our fathers are whose blood we come through. The blood of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob is in your veins, sister. It's in all these, see all these black people, all these black sisters, all these black brothers, all the Hispanics even, the natives even. The, uh, the, the forefathers' blood is literally in them, not spirit. Yeah, their spirit is in us also. But their blood is literally in us. Like your sons, like your daughters. They get, when you pass away, they get what, what was yours, right? So can I come down the street and I tell you, hey, I want some of that too, give me some. I want some too. I want, we can't do that, right? It does not make sense, right? But that's the sense we make when we say everybody can have the promises of, of the Bible. God wasn't talking to everybody. Everybody didn't just ear hustle or jaw jocked in our, in our records. In the conversation that was between us and our father, right? Watch this. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 45. More. Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee and shall pursue uh -huh. thee uh -huh. and overtake thee uh -huh. to thee to thou be destroyed Come on. because thou hearkenest not unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Uh -huh. Because we did not listen to the voice of the Lord, our God. That word thy is possessive, sis. It means your, thy means your. When, it, when I say your, I'm not talking to the cars passing by. I'm not talking to the people in the store. I'm talking to you, right? Watch this. Because you didn't listen to your God, come on, to keep his commandments. To keep what you didn't listen to was the commandments that he told you to keep. Remember when Moses brought us out of Egypt, the first Egypt, when Moses brought us out, he gave us what? Law, statutes, commandments, and judgments. He gave us all the wisdom of God. So he's, he's saying now, listen, just like if you tell your child now, hey, don't go stealing. You clean your room up by the time I get back, you give them an or else with that, right? Or else. If you don't do it, that's what's happening now. That's what we're reading now. If you don't keep the commandments of God, come on. And his statutes, come on, which he commanded thee, come on, and they shall be upon thee uh -huh. for a sign. So the curses, is the things that were before the Israelites, and only the Israelites, those curses shall be upon those people for a sign. Read. 
for a wonder. So now you say, dang, the young man, he say, I'm not a black. He say, I'm not an African-American. Where he get that from? How do you prove something like that? What is he talking about? I never heard this before, right? So the Bible says that the curses shall be upon the Israelites for a sign and for a wonder. A sign does what, sis? It tells you what something is. A wonder is when you have a thought about something. I wonder what that is. I wonder who I actually am. Because the brother just the brother just said, I'm not black. The brother just said, my nationality, my race is not African American. My brother just said that I'm not a nigga. So these curses shall be upon us for a sign and for a wonder. Right? Our destruction shall be upon us for a sign and a wonder. So now one day you got to think, damn, well, who am I then? I ain't a black. I'm not African American. Who am I? Right? Watch this. And upon thy seed. And upon your children. Read. Forever. Forever. You know why the Bible say forever right there? Because until you get your mind right. Until we, until the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans come back to the father come back to their father and his laws that he commanded we keep we're going to be destroyed we're going to remain right here as slaves in america you're going to be born a slave and you're going to die a slave in the worst way right here in the land of slavery that's what's going to happen we used to scream black power while heron was pushed but at the end of the day nothing's in vain iuic has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are how our men repented at heart The scriptures is proof IUIC, we deliver the truth